As always, I look forward to giving you introductions to good companies that also have the potential of being good stocks. Today, I get to introduce and discuss some of the rewards and the risks of investing in mine technology. When you think mine technology, think innovative solutions. This is a NASDAQ stock trading under the ticker MIND. What do they do? Mine Technologies provides an extensive range of marine exploration solutions based on leading edge design development and production for the exploration industry of what? The ocean. So they explore, survey the ocean for things like wind farms and oil and gas, as well as they help towards the defense of the marine environment, advanced and cost effective maritime solutions for anti-submarine warfare. They have the software for all the products that they deliver, as well as they provide service, a little bit of uh, recurring revenue on everything that they sell. Now, hold on a second, Cameron. Doesn't that sound like another stock that you cover? Kraken Robotics, which has been wildly successful over the past year or two. Yes, it actually is very similar to Kraken Robotics. In fact, ocean exploration is why I was interested in Kraken Robotics before they got into subsea batteries and all the potential revenue there. But the ocean is still our final frontier. It's not explored enough, and I'm very bullish with this industry sector. So why didn't I tell you about mine technology before? It was not a great company. You could see, well, you probably can't, too small to read, but in the past year, it's down about 45%. This is what their share price chart has looked like for a long time. However, there is change coming to this company that all of a sudden puts Mind Technologies on my watch list, and I want to show you why. Now, before I get to the numbers, don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. If you're interested in Mind Technologies, please go do your own research. This is just an introductory video and not a solicitation to buy, sell, or hold this stock. Obviously, there's a story to tell here, because revenue is in the green, and you can see slow but steady revenue growth on their trailing 12-month numbers. Here's their expenses in the yellow and orange, and you can see this has been flat or even declining to the point where the most recent quarter, Mine Technologies, is profitable with revenue higher than their expenses. Yet despite that, share price has been going down significantly. So what's wrong? Well, looking at their Form 10K, because this is a US-based NASDAQ stock, which we need to take into consideration with valuation later on, you can see here they have this ticker called MINDP, which is their Series A preferred stock. So they have a common stock here, mind, and a preferred stock here. Well, as you can see, their preferred shares are dividend payers. So in the year end of 2024, Mind Technologies finally had profitability a little bit here with an operating income of $518,000. However, due to the preferred shares having to pay out all of these dividends, you could see an earnings per share of negative $3.48 not good so you see these 1.4 million shares of common stock just seeing their value whittled away as share price declines day after day while the 1.6 million of preferred shareholders get a dividend that this company just can't afford really so what's the story what happened why am i making a video on mine technology today well just look at the news releases well, starting about four months ago after reporting their Q1 of 2025, they start meeting with the preferred shareholders, asking the question of what can we do to get rid of these preferred shares, stop paying these dividends, and move forward with a clean, simple share structure for this company. In fact, they even defer the payment of the preferred stock dividend as they're in discussions three months ago. These discussions keep moving forward into a vote where they announce, hey, Q2 is coming up. Let's get this finalized before earnings where we could tell people the good news. And it finally happens. Two months ago, Mind Technologies announces the approval of preferred stock proposal. Essentially what happened is all the preferred shares, one preferred share got changed into 3.9 common stock. The preferred shares are gone and it's only common stock moving forward. So the company needed a change. They were not making money paying out all these dividends and they got it. Now, when I look at this, what's this going to mean to the numbers? What this means is if you remember, this company used to have 1.4 million common stock and 1.6 million preferred shares. 
Now they have a total of 8.01 million shares outstanding. This is on top of $38 million of United States dollar revenue and around 32% revenue growth, at least year over year, and about 10% conversion to EBITDA at 3.77 million. They have a little bit of cash. It'd be nice if they had more. They have no debt, I believe. This is lease obligations, but a really nice current ratio as well. This looks good, doesn't it? I mean, compared to what they had, this is looking pretty attractive. And converting these cash-destroying preferred shares into common stock couldn't have come at a better time. This is their trailing 12-month revenue, which has seen steady growth for some time now. But what's more impressive is two quarters of trailing 12-month operating income. So finally, operationally positive here. And three quarters of trailing 12-month operating EBITDA improvement in the positive. So they're seeing an inflection point where they've gone from losing money to now becoming a profitable company. They're growing nicely. They have a simple share structure. They got a decent balance sheet. There's a lot of things to like here with Mind Technology. And I don't think I'm the only one seeing this either because this is their share price going down over the past little while. I know people will say, but Cameron, look, share price is going down. I don't think anybody's buying this stock. It has finally flatlined over the last little bit, but I think more people have noticed this stock than the share price indicates. When they finally got approval to convert their preferred shares to the common stock, there was actually some buying in here. The other thing is during their Q2 earnings call, analysts on the call sounded pretty excited about the stock and you got some more volume buying in here. So I think good, large, intelligent investors are buying the stock. Why is the share price going down? Well, that's because of the angry preferred shareholders, probably speculation on my part, upset that they're not getting their nice dividend anymore and they're selling their shares and taking their profit. So the shares are transitioning from preferred shareholders getting this really sweet dividend to new investors that are just discovering this company. That takes a little bit of time and volatility. And when I put in Mind Technologies numbers, and please, these are my numbers into my dashboard, go check this. But I'm seeing from last year's revenue, trailing 12 month revenue is growth. Last quarter times four run rate revenue is higher. Next 12 numbers calculated out by my program is even higher still. When I put these numbers into my dashboard, what I'm seeing is a lot of threes, fours, fives, sixes, and eights. That's a significant price up from their current share price of $3 and something. So I believe the risk reward profile here on Mind Technologies fits what I am looking for. I see a company with revenue trending up, earnings trending up, cash trending up, ROIC trending up. And once this company gets rid of their preferred shareholders and starts getting discovered, especially as a NASDAQ stock, Hopefully they see their valuation trending up. So I'm putting Mind Technologies on my watch list. Let me know what you think. Am I missing any potential rewards of this company? Am I missing any risks? And of course, I found, researched, and introduced this stock to my Patreon Discord. I will link to that down below in my pinned comment. As always, my name is Cameron. You've been watching Common Sense Investing. Thank you for your time. Go have fun making money in microcaps.